What is up everyone? My name is Dominic Barbado, author of The Vending Revolution book, How to Start and Grow a Vending Business at Any Age. This video in particular is going to go in super detail on how if you are struggling to get your vending business off the ground, how you can take it off the ground in three steps right here, right now. Stay tuned to the end of this video to make sure you get that information. What is up everyone? Welcome back to this channel. Super excited for you guys to be here. One, we're doing a giveaway for honor boxes as soon as we hit 4K subs. Two, once we hit 5,500 subs, I'm giving away a free gumball machine. So make sure you're entered into both those giveaways. Links in the description below. But here are the three tips. If you're struggling to get your vending business off the ground or where you want it to be right now, these are the three tips I would give myself essentially on how I could take my vending business off the ground and how I can you know grow my vending business even quicker so one of my good friends Harris Mavin has been able to place a hundred and two vending machines part-time in only a couple months um, you could totally check out that mini ebook it's a free ebook in the description below this ebook in particular is one of the tips that I would recommend to you where if you want to start a vending business check out his book he gives you a bunch of tips on different locating ways on how you can get locations part-time while still having a full-time job um, two of these things i even wrote it in the testimonial for the book i never even used in my life so now i'm going to start implementing those but if you want to check out that ebook go into the description below and you can check that out for free right now so super awesome for him thank you very much for allowing me to put that in my video harris but that's one way check out that book giving you a bunch of locating tips that's a big thing in vending you know a lot of people think, hey, what vending machine should I get? They hit me up. What contract do I need? All this other stuff. It's not about that. That is not what this vending game, vending business is about. It is about you going out, you getting your own locations, you figuring out a way to leverage to get more locations. So many people start this business. They go to 10 places, 10 businesses. They get no's at every single one and then they give up. And then they say, hey, my business is failing. What do I do? Do you have any tips for me to grow my vending business quicker or better or anything like that and i'm like hey did, how many locations did you go to and they're like oh i went to a couple and that's exactly the problem you need to go to hundreds and hundreds of business every single month or you need to talk to hundreds and hundreds of businesses every single month if you want me to release more tips beyond his ebook beyond things known um to obviously the average vendor i have a secret way that i learned that the big corporations the big vending guys the the honchos the canteens the you know big national vending companies i have their secret directory on how to find the best businesses not just certain businesses but the best businesses with the best foot traffic if you want to see that we need to hit 500 likes on this video it's all it's it's an audacious thing it's very uh broad or very big of me to say but 500 likes on this video i will release the best way for you to find locations for your vending business. And that's just as simple as it is. But that's the first way. Get locations for your business. Check out his book. You know, and honestly, if this hits 500 likes, I will even release the best, best two ways that you can find locations that I believe have worked for me. Um, and that's pretty much that. Hopping into the second thing here, number two, my second tip for you on if you're struggling to take your vending business off the ground, take a step back. Take a step back from your business. Obviously, we get super excited. I've, start, I've started well over 25 businesses, a lot of which have failed. The biggest thing when you start a business is you get super excited, super amped up to get started, to see the money rolling, to see the dollar bills rolling. And that's what it's about. Everyone wants to see those dollar bills. And it's not that simple. It's not that easy. If you're struggling at all, if you want to start a vending business, but you still haven't got your business off the ground, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to take a step back from wherever you thought you were. You're gonna take out a pen and paper and you're gonna write down where you see your life in three to six months and then six to six months to a year. And you're going to put your vending business income into that, how many machines you want, how many hours a week you wanna work on your vending business. And from those hours, you're going to work backwards and you're gonna figure out what vending machines do I really want? What locations do I really want? And from that, you're going to find how many locations you need, what locations you need and how much you need to make per month per machine and you're going to have a little more inspiration and motivation because then inside you you know hey you know in three months I need to have 15 bulk vending machines in six months I need to have 50 if you set these goals if you do this 
You'll know what you have to do to achieve those goals. So many people set out, hey, I want to start a vending business. They hit me up. What machines do I get? Where do I get locations? And then I never hear from them. And they don't even end up starting their vending business. It really hurts me. It, it, it doesn't hurt me, let's be honest, but it helps me. But it really makes me sad to see that because I want all of you guys to start a vending business. You know, I don't do this YouTube stuff to like, I don't even know what I would do it for. I'm doing it to teach you. I'm doing it to show you that it is possible. I've been doing it for six years now. I've realized that putting myself on YouTube and showing people how to do it doesn't really affect my business. It really only helps me because I'm teaching people how to grow a vending business and competition is really good sometimes. But that's the biggest thing. Sit down with a pen and paper, write out your goals and you're gonna really see on paper if you're struggling to get your vending business off the ground, what you need, how much income you need, and you know what you need to do to grow that business. And that's as simple as it is. So sit down with a pen and paper and get those ideas flowing. And then my third tip, obviously you have to save the best tips for last, but if you are seriously struggling to start your vending business, maybe this business isn't for you. That's not the tip essentially, but maybe this business isn't for you and you might want to think about that and maybe you'll come to that realization between the first thing and the second thing and now this thing. So my third tip for you, which I think is a pretty big tip, if you're struggling to get your vending business off the ground, I want to help you and that's the simplest thing. I really want to help you. Um, reach out to me, join our Vending Revolution Facebook group, you know, hit me up. I I try to do it for free. If you want a phone call, if you want some help there, it's a little harder for me, but reach out to me on Instagram, reach out to uh, our Facebook group, facebook.com slash vending revolution. And inside that group, you will get an, an enormous amount of um, information. Um, so definitely join our Facebook group. Super excited to see you inside that. But honestly, I'm drawing away from the tip on that little tangent there. Obviously the Facebook group could be your third tip, but realistically, the third tip for you, if you want to grow your vending business is this, and I, I got to figure out a way to make this where it's not biased. I have to figure out a way to talk about my business without people telling me that I'm being a biased person towards what I'm doing. If anyone in vending, you know, that's been in vending, that understands it, that's been in this industry, what I'm about to say, they'll completely understand. If you want to start your vending business and you are struggling to get locations, if you're struggling to buy machines, if you don't have the money to buy machines, start with honor boxes. And for this, I am actually going to read a comment from, you know, one of my good friends, honestly, Ernie Brown, he owns candymachines.com. Maybe I'll throw the clip in here, a little bit of that. He sent me a bunch of labels um, for that, which actually, let's just go and um, let's get those labels. Why not? <laughs> They're right here, I think. I don't know where I put them. All right, Ernie, I was trying to shout you out with the labels. I don't know where the labels are, but I'm going to take a seat here and I'm going to give you that last tip. So Ernie essentially wrote a comment to a guy who said, I'm struggling to start my business, or you know, I'm a beginner, I'm a newbie at starting a vending business, what should I really do? You know, And this tip can go to people that really don't have the money. If you have the money, this tip really might not be perfectly for you, but listen to what he wrote. He really put some, you know, some, some blood equity into this, this comment. So here's what he would do if he started. Knowing what he knows now, you know, he does a lot of honor boxes, bulk machines, he never got into full line, he still has a full time job, but he kills it with honor boxes. He'd buy $400, $400 in honor boxes, use that to learn vending and locating. Uh, I'll add a little bit to that. That's a big thing and that's what this tip really is. Using honor boxes as a way to locate and learn vending because you start with these cardboard boxes, you get into locations, super easy to get locations, helping a good cause, which is good to learn in business. And then from that, you can grow into bulk and full line depending on where you place these. I've got two full line locations, which you'll see videos on this, two full line locations this past week just from honor boxes. It's amazing and I wish I knew that sooner. But he then writes, turn that $400 that you invested in the honor boxes to a thousand in about two months or so, could be longer, let's say it's you know three, four months, turn it into a thousand. Take that thousand and buy some new uh, single head eagle gumball machines from candymachines.com. Candymachines.com, you just got a free plug on my channel. You're welcome, um, but I don't, suggest Eagle. I think they're okay machines. I don't think they're the best. I'll be completely honest. But if you take that thousand bucks that let's say you make in those three to four months, 
Go on Facebook Marketplace, go on OfferUp, go on LetGo, go on Macari, go on all these channels and buy used single head gumball machines. Yes, it will suck to clean them. Yes, it will suck if they're not in good shape. But if they are in good shape and you can get them and they're pretty much new, you're going to get a lot more machines, a lot more bang for your buck that way. I'll add in that way. Ernie, I'm changing yours up a little bit, but I like what you wrote and I gave you the credit here. Keep working with the Honor Box route and using that money to build your gumball route. The gumball route won't take much time. It's very true. You could service some gumball machines two to three times, uh, or two, no, yeah, two to three times a year if you have those type of locations. Once the machines are located, you won't check on them again for 69 days. I just said that, but that's what he wrote. Keep building your gumball route until it's as large as you'd like it to be with the profits that you get from those Honor Boxes that you still have that you bought for only $400. That way, you're still really only working with that original $400 you have invested. You may be wondering why gumballs instead of candy. Well, the profits are crazy, 96%, I believe. Maybe it's 94%. Two of it, two, it's the most passive. It definitely is more passive than candy because candy you're giving, you know, six to ten pieces per. With gumballs, you're giving one gumball per. So that's the amazing thing. These single head machines probably hold around three to 400 gumballs. Don't quote me on that, but they hold a decent amount. If you buy bigger heads, they'll hold a lot more than that. And you know, it's a 25 cent bend. You're making probably around 20 cents on that. So it's amazing. And then he wrote, he's done honor box, he's done candy machines, and he's done just gumball machines. And in my experience, this is the way, easiest way to build a route. I absolutely agree with you, Ernie, in this video, Ended up being a lot longer than it was supposed to be, but what he said, the other two tips, I hope you guys take this to heart. And if you are struggling to take your vending business off the ground, please comment below. I know sometime our ego gets in front of us and we don't want to comment about certain things, but please comment below. If you are struggling, I will try to make an effort to reach out to you to help you get your vending business off the ground. That is what this channel is about. That is what the vending revolution is about. If you want to grow, if you want to start your vending business, join the vending revolution that we're doing. Join our Facebook group, facebook.com slash vending revolution. We are starting a vending revolution. This is a movement of people who want to change their life with vending machines. And I hope by the end of this video or by the end of watching the videos on my channel, you buy at least one vending machine. And I'm marking this here now and making this the new exit to this channel. You are one vending machine away from completely changing your life. And that is the complete truth of it. I may have stole that from someone, I have no idea, but I always said you need one vending machine. Everyone in life needs at least one vending machine working for them because at least you're making a couple extra bucks passively, if not anything. So with that note and my dog's barking, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.